What is up my dudes, today we're going to be taking a look at Sword of Legends Online. Uh, I played a little bit of the uh, closed beta I bought into the game so that I could have some access to it to see what it's like, because I saw a lot of people talking about it, and I uh, saw a lot of Reddit posts about it. So, from my own personal experience, I've played about 10 hours of the game. Uh, the combat gameplay overall, I think is uh, relatively pretty smooth. It's not very complex. It's definitely less complex than, say, something like BDO. BDO has, like, lots of combos that you can do on your keyboards, and that's not necessarily something that you have to worry about uh, in this game. There are combos, but it's basically from one skill to another. Like, one skill, for, for example, I play Berserker, summons phantoms, and then using another skill, those phantoms go and crash down on my target, do a big AoE, um, and a pretty decent amount of damage. However, you know, there's still a lot of skills that I was not able to unlock since I'm pretty early in the game. I'm sure the complex or the combos get a little bit more complex as things go on. But, you know, initially they have stayed pretty simple. There's a bunch of classes that was mentioned in general chat that get a lot more complex as, the, as you get to the later levels. The quest system of the game overall is pretty generic. You get a lot of fetch quests that you have to do. And you take them out relatively easy, the mobs aren't very hard to fight at all, unless you're pulling like huge massive mobs and you might run into a small issue, but overall you're probably going to be pretty fine, especially in the beginning. The story, I think is okay. I like it. If you're really big into like Chinese mythology and like key and, and stuff like that, you'll really like this. Uh, if you were a fan of Age of Wushu, you'll probably really like this game since it's a very similar setting. Um, but the problem that I have with the story so far is that the Chinese dubs slash subs are not, well the dubs are fine, but the subs for the dubs are not very good in my opinion. I feel like there's definitely a little bit lacking when it comes to just the translations, and when you're dealing with cutscenes, it seems like the text just moves way too fast. I'm an avid anime sub watcher. I've watched anime for a very long time. I can read subs very easily, but this was going way faster than I think that it should have. Even in the very beginning scene of when you load in and create your character, I can't even read the story. Like the initial like very minor prologue they give you, just fucking zoom in on the screen and I couldn't read anything. The character creation system is, is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's BDO levels, but you get a, a pretty good thing. As you can see throughout the, the gameplay here, I made my character extremely weird looking all right very 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 weird so you can you have a, a, a bit of customization that you can do on that front uh, i do have a little bit of experience with the systems that i was able to get into you have your blade soul system which is uh basically like your pet that you give your old items to you to get experience and then use that to spend on skills that enhance your own character as like kind of like a secondary uh way to level your character outside of gear uh, and actual levels of course they also have a talent tree which is pretty similar to most uh, mmos of this kind you unlock a skill at certain levels and you can advance that skill as you go on and then there's the passive astral tree which i was able to do which is just a really long passive tree uh, it gives you minor upgrades as you go along and get things for it like crit damage faster speed you know more you know x y and z it's not anything big like it's not going to give you a new skill or anything like that but they're all going to be very minor passive things kind of like the blade pet is as well it's just two secondary systems outside of you know basic gear leveling and your gear leveling is relatively simple it's all based on gear score you can level your gear to like max uh gear score however um probably not best to do that in your beginning gear and hold on for some later gear. If you do upgrade gear, like you do enhancement gems or whatever, they are guaranteed a success. There's no RNG in them not working and breaking your gear, which is great because that was a terrible system in BDO. I'm glad that that's not in here. However, we're gonna move on to over to performance now. Performance of the game is okay. It seems pretty split between people. Me, personally, I have a mid-tier PC, like a six core Ryzen, 3.8 um, CPU and a 1660 uh, GTX and I have had zero issues no frame drops nothing my PC is not amazing however there were a lot of people in the 
general chat that actually did have issues with it. They did talk about it, said they were getting massive frame drops, which is really unfortunate. However, um, there were people that said that they were going to be talking about uh, moving over to Unreal Engine 4, which should help with performance, which is great, but who knows when that's going to come. Usually converting over a new engine, even if it's Unreal Engine from one to another, usually takes a lot of work and it's going to be a long time before it gets there. Overall, I think that the visuals of the game are pretty good. Are they the best of any game? No. But are the aesthetics fit? Are they good? Are they great to look at? I think so. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it. I talked about the dubs, right? There is going to be English dubs going to be coming. But who knows if there's going to be any good. Like, sometimes English dubs are fucking amazing, sometimes they're trash. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see me go live, I go live 6 a.m. PDT, Monday through Friday, and sometimes on the weekends. But I will see you guys later.